Shumai everyone and welcome to the first episode of Who News, a monthly interactive series bringing you updates and reaction from the world of Doctor Who, as well as various other subsections that you can get involved with. To celebrate the launch of Who News on this channel, next month we'll be releasing Doctor Who themed rewards on our Patreon, and this includes a Who News button badge, as well as three Doctor Who themed stickers. And on top of that, you'll also get that month's playing card for our new card game. So be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash skybotfilm where you can check out this month's rewards which are more Disney themed. Finally, be sure to hit that subscribe button for both this channel and our gaming channel for more Doctor Who videos. Recently on our gaming channel I played through the Doctor Who mobile game Doctor Who The Lonely Assassins, so be sure to check out my full playthrough of it there. So now we're going to be moving into the Who news, and this month there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. So first of all, Big Finish released the first trailer for The Ninth Doctor Adventures Volume 1, which is called Ravagers, and oh my gosh was I excited about this trailer. Fantastic! Big Finish. We love stories. I must have watched this trailer like 50 times already and I don't think I've been as excited for a big finish release before because Christopher Eccleston, he was the doctor that introduced me to Doctor Who. For me, this release is a must listen. Like, he hasn't played the doctor in like 16 years. So it'll be really cool to actually hear him in the role and to have more episodes and explore a different part of his life. I have pre-ordered the first volume and I can't wait to listen to it. It's due out in May. So be sure to stay tuned on this channel where I'll be doing a review of it when it releases. Alongside this, they've also revealed the artwork for the vinyl edition and I think this looks stunning. It reminds me of those um, uh, Doctor Who DVDs they used to bring out uh, as the series was coming out, like volumes one to four. Although I haven't ordered the vinyl edition, for my digital edition, I'm definitely going to change the artwork of the tracks to the vinyl artwork so that each episode has its own artwork associated with it. But that's not all. They've also revealed some news about the Ninth Doctor Adventures volumes three and four. It was just a little bit of information but it's definitely worth mentioning that in Volume 3, the Ninth Doctor will come face to face with the Cybermen. And in Volume 4, he will meet Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, which I think is really cool. Um, and the Brigadier will be played by John Culshaw, um, who's great at what he does. So I can't wait to listen to those as well. Now, I really thought that for this, I think that it would be really cool if uh, Christopher Eccleston's Doctor came up against the classic Cybermen because this is something that Big Finish do very well, is they find stories uh, where you might not think to find stories. So the scene in particular that I'm thinking of is the one in Dalek where he recognizes a Cyberman as an old friend slash enemy. Look at you. What is it? An old friend of mine, well, enemy. I definitely think it would be cool if the Ninth Doctor faced the classic Cybermen, as the Cyber Cybermen that featured prominently throughout David Tennant's era had their own origin story attached to it. So moving on to the Doctor Who comic that is being released in April, and that is Missy Issue 1. In this comic series, Missy wages war against both the Third and the Twelfth Doctor, and apparently is a continuation from the Doctor Who comic series featuring the Thirteenth and the Tenth Doctors, which was released earlier this year. Now, I find this interesting because it's not stylized as Doctor Who comic issue five, which would be the next issue in the series, but as Missy issue one. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it is actually a continuation or whether with the Doctor Who comics they'll just have like sets of standalone stories. I know that the collected versions of these comics are called Volume 1 and Volume 2 so it'll be interesting to see if there is any connection or we can just expect more different stories with different characters from the world of Doctor Who. So the first issue of Missy will be released on the 14th of April and it will be available via Kindle or Comixology format if you want to get it digitally or it can be purchased in the UK from ForbiddenPlanet.com or your local comic shop. We're now going to move into the section which I'm calling Monster of the Month. And Doctor Who is known for its various Monsters of the Week and this section celebrates those one and done villains from throughout the show's history. Each month, I'll give a ribbon to one of the monsters from the show to elevate their lowly status to that of Monster of the Month. 
Then, at the end of 12 months, one of the 12 Monsters of the Month will get a chance to win the lucrative Monster of the Year, and this will be voted for by you. So since this is the first episode of Who News, I'm going to choose the monster that I would most like to return in the modern series. And that is the Sea Devils. The Sea Devils originally featured in the Doctor Who story titled The Sea Devils, and they also featured in the episode called Warriors of the Deep. I remember as a kid watching old episodes of Doctor Who on UK TV Gold in the mornings with my dad, and The Sea Devils was one of those episodes. I remember the scene where they were all coming out of the sea and thinking that it was terrifying. Although looking back at it now, it looks like the poor actor is just happy to be out of the freezing cold British water. I'm still holding out hope that they will return at some point in the modern series, but I don't think they'll be able to keep this uh, sort of turtle-like design. They'll probably have to go the same route as the Silurians and make them more human-like. But I think if we get a decent Sea Devil story, that will be a worthwhile sacrifice. <laughs> So there we are, this month's Monster of the Month is the Sea Devils, so congratulations to them. Be sure to leave a comment below saying which monster you think should be Monster of the Month and why for a chance to be featured in the next episode of Who News. This next section is called The Biggest Library in the Universe, where I talk about ways to experience other Doctor Who content for free. Now for this month I wanted to talk about something that I only found out recently, and that is The Big Finish have actually published a lot of their content on Spotify totally for free. And you can find all this content on the Doctor Who Spotify page. And when you see what they've got there, it's actually a huge amount of Doctor Who stories that you can listen to totally for free. This includes The Fourth Doctor Adventures Series 1, The Doctor Who Main Range Episodes 1 to 50, The Eighth Doctor Adventures Series 1, The Lost Stories including The Lost Stories Fourth Doctor box set, Unit Dominion Stories from the Companion Chronicles series, Destiny of the Doctor in its entirety which was released as part of the 50th anniversary of the show, as well as Cybermen Series 1, Dalek Empire Series 1 and 2, and the complete I Davros. It also has Doctor Who stage plays and various spin offs like Bernie Summerfield, Iris Wildtime, and Graceless. And considering that each of the episodes in the monthly range goes for £3 online, that's actually a lot of stuff that they've released for free. And it includes a huge range of stuff from the classic and modern era of Doctor Who. For example, The Eighth Doctor Adventures. He only had the TV movie and the short mini episode, The Night of the Doctor. But if you're interested in finding out what he's like as a Doctor with more time, you can listen to his first audio series totally for free. If you have a free Spotify account, you're more restricted with the amount of devices that you can listen on. But the easiest way is to just open the Spotify web player and then you can just listen to it all. If you're interested in listening to some of these, I'll put the Doctor Who user profile in the description, so be sure to check that out. So as I mentioned earlier on, your comments will be featured in this series and I'll be reading them and reacting to them on the Time Space Visualizer. So be sure to leave your comments down below for a chance to be featured, but since this is the first episode of Who News, I'll be reading comments from the Time Lord Victoria series, which I also did on this channel. This comment was on my review of He Kills Me, He Kills Me Not, and it's by Young Movie Reviews. And they say, This audio drama was amazing. A small singer story, kind of like Midnight or Turn Left or Blink, where it isn't saving the universe, but saving the town. Every word that Brian speaks gives me chills. This is amazing, fully intro for the Eighth Doctor. I totally agree with that. I thought that it was a really, really good, strong start for Brian the Ood, one of the main characters from the Time Lord Victoria story. Um, and it was definitely not what I was expecting from the first Paul McGann audio drama, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend that. This next comment is from Dak Cop, and his comment is on the Master Thief and Lesser Evils review. And they say, I was shocked at how on point his Anthony Ainley impression was. And it's that man, John Culshaw, again, who is playing the master for those short trips. And he will be doing the voice of the Brigadier, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. He's a great impressionalist, and I even saw an article about how he wishes that he gets a chance to play the Doctor on screen. So I, I would be supportive of that. I think he would make a great Doctor. So, you know, maybe that's what the future holds. Who knows? This last comment is from G. Patterson Smith, who commented on the Defender of the Daleks issue 1, which was the first release in the Time Lord Victoria story. And they say, I really enjoyed it. It was a good setup and got me excited about the stories to come, even though there wasn't a huge amount of action. I agree that though the art was stunning overall, the Doctor seemed a little off in places. I think it was frontal shots where the expressions weren't quite right. 
I also thought it took 5 or 10 pages to get into the Doctor's voice, but maybe that was just me. Thanks for the review, keep them coming. Well, thank you very much for that, and that's what these reviews were all about. Like, I made these reviews to give my thoughts on it, and then loads of you guys commented, give your thoughts on it, and there was loads of discussions in the comments section. The same way as when I did the reviews of the television episodes, there's always discussions in the comments section, and it's brilliant. So keep them coming, and we can have loads more uh, discussions in the comments section as well. I agree, it was a good setup, and I was really looking forward to Time Lord Victorious, and it was a great start, and I was really looking forward to seeing how it would um, continue through the various audio dramas, books, and games. If you're interested in more Time Lord Victorious content, I've got reviews of pretty much almost everything that has been released, and when it eventually opens, we will be going to Time Fracture to do a little vlog and video on that as well. We have got our tickets to the very first show in, so I'm really excited about that. I also played the Edge of Time in VR, playing the Time Lord Victorious update, and that's over on our gaming channel. So that's all I've got time for for this episode, so thanks very much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment for a chance to be featured, and let me know what you think, and let me know if there's any other sections that you think would be worth interest in, or any other sections that you would want to watch. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Doctor Who videos, as well as checking out our social media. If you want to support our channel, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash skybotfilm for loads of digital and physical rewards. Or you can support us at coffee.com forward slash skybotfilm where you can leave us a small tip. But also, if you like and share this video with your friends, we really appreciate that too. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next month. Bye!